Hello up all you wonderful people, this is Andre the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear listening into another gamer's thoughts. And I'm I, I'm disappointed very much because my instincts were right about a situation that I recently commented on. And uh, it sucks to be right because I want there to be more and better examples of people out there for people to look up to that are gamers. Only for that to be dashed by the most popular people on platforms and gaming being garbage people yeah being garbage people um and before i get any further into this if someone advertises on their channel or they have a sponsorship on their channel and they are giving you the news that doesn't invalidate what they are saying they are just making money for the work that they put into what they are doing we don't get mad at newspapers or news stations for reporting the news and having ads littered up throughout their content. We don't get angry at them for doing it. So why do we get angry at somebody who's an individual doing the same thing? That doesn't make any sense to me. And anybody who heard that should instantly understand exactly what I'm talking about. But... If some ordinary gamers, Mudahar or Carl Jobs, decide that they are going to put ads on videos to monetize them, and they are giving you news, that is their prerogative. Especially with Carl Jobs making YouTube his business. He uses it to take care of and protect and feed his family. So I'm not going to be agitated by the fact that he has a sponsor. Like, there's no reason to be. That, using that as a claim to say, well, his information can't be relevant or true because he's getting ad revenue off of this. Or he's being paid. No fucking duh he's getting paid. It's his job. He reports on different situations on a regular basis. His main thing that he talks about is the speed running community but he does do news stories on other things over time so please with all due respect get off your high horse because you have no moral ground when it comes to that it doesn't make any daggone sense to sit there and say well everything that you just said no matter how provable is invalid because you got paid an ad revenue, or you had a sponsor for your video. That is the most intellectually dishonest and disingenuine crap that y'all can run with for this situation. So please, rightfully pull the stick from between your cheeks and open your ears and listen to everything. Now, I've gone through and listened to different videos on multiple channels and fronts and everything. And I, my opinion's still the same. It didn't change about this situation. I wish it did. I wish, wholeheartedly wish that I was proven to be wrong. I would love to have been proven to be wrong, but I wasn't. And even worse, I actually gave the completionist apology video. A listen, the unedited apology video. Well, not the unedited, because when I listened to it, I don't, I didn't hear any threats of legal uh, ramifications. So something had to have been changed along the way, because I didn't hear about it. But I know that that was one of the things that was talked about. So just putting that out there. I did not hear it when I listened to it. And I listened to it uninterrupted. So, I, I don't know. It, it's it's one of those weird things where YouTube gives certain people the ability to edit their videos after post. And certain others don't have it. Um, but all that said. When you listen to Gerard's video. If you listen to it and you have no context of the situation. He almost sounds like he's making sense. 
he almost sounds like he's making sense because he is so confident and strong in what he says that you would want to believe him. If you don't have any information to the contrary whatsoever, you would probably run to his defense. You would probably be like, oh man, they're just picking on this man for, for views and for clout and, and to make money off of him. If you just listen to his video. But if you even listen to the first video that Carl Jobs put out. You can see that all the stuff that he's saying. Superfluous. A lot of it is very much superfluous. And then if you combine that with Mudahar's videos. It's like hmm. And then you hear the clap back from Carl, and he's like, whoa, boy. And then you hear the released audio from, not the complete released audio, obviously, because it hasn't been fully released, but some of the different things from the released audio from that Discord call when Gerard had time, the chance to come completely clean about everything. And it paints a wholly different picture. For the uninitiated, the completionist, also going by his name, Gerard, has been on YouTube for 10 plus years, and he makes a thing of fully completing games. At least that, that's the impression I get. I've never really watched his channel other than this one video, and that was because I figured he deserved a chance to say his piece and speak on it. Which he, if you, you use any sort of critical thinking, the things that he has said or shown in with that video, with the links that he provided, was hard, hot garbage. It, it was hot garbage. It was really hot garbage. And it, it's one of those things where I'm like, how do people not see this? But then I realized that a lot of people will bend over backwards for somebody who they are a fan of or somebody who was a friend to them at some point or did nice things for them. And they'll be like, oh, no, he couldn't have done that. He couldn't have been like that. that he doesn't seem like the type to be that deceptive. Or, no, she wouldn't do that. She wouldn't risk somebody else's life and ability to take care of themselves for a lie, which has happened many times over. And we, for some reason, don't understand that history repeats itself, even in short cycles. So, that's one of those things that people have to take into account. It's one of the things that they have to take on board with themselves. Because apparently that is impossible to do for a large swath of people. I don't know why, but it seems like that is the most difficult thing to do on the planet. And it always gets me that people will use their own personal interactions with someone as the only basis for their thoughts. I understand like, yo, hey, maybe we've been friends forever. Maybe we've been friends for years and years and years. That doesn't mean I know every single thing about you. That doesn't mean I am privy to everything that has ever gone on in your life. That doesn't mean I'm aware of anything that may have happened to you or that you have done to someone else. There were there have been serial killers. Serial killers. That people thought, oh, that he was the nicest man I've ever met. So you mean to tell me that you're, you're only going to use your personal experience in thinking about the situation, not look at any of the evidence, not pay attention to what he has said, how he has lied over the years, to do any sort of thought, thought to not put any sort of thought into it. Sorry, I got a little twisted on the words there. It's, it's, it's astounding to me. And I find myself having to unfollow and unsubscribe to some people, some content creators I actually enjoyed. 
because they're too busy sticking their head in the ground trying to ignore all of the facts of the situation just because there hasn't been a guilty verdict in a trial. I'm sorry, wrong is wrong. It doesn't matter how you look at it. It doesn't matter how big of a friend a person was to you. It doesn't matter how much they may have helped you out in your own personal life. If anything, I would expect you to want them to be more personally accountable for the things that they are responsible for. Not just try to give them a free pass because they were nice to you at one point. And I, I respect that there are people that are, were tied to this situation in some way, shape, or form that have just kept their mouth shut and stayed out of it. Cool. You, you don't have to say anything on it. And it's probably better for you to wait and see how things play out before you say anything. But then there are plenty of others who jump to the defense of someone, one, using things that aren't even relevant to the situation, like, and this saddens me, Bonsai Pop, using that Gerard is of um, is a minority. He's, he's part of a minority class. And he's faced racism and hatred and any number of things. I'm like, when you put yourself out there online, you get fame and fortune in any way, shape, or form, you're going to run into that. You have to deal with that. That is the unfortunate truth. It doesn't matter what you do to get famous. That's going to be your situation. That's going to be your lot in life. And if you decide that you want to put yourself in that position, that's something you have to deal with. So using that as a shield for someone doing something wrong is morally reprehensible. Morally reprehensible. And that's also to ignore the fact that, you know, Mudahar is a minority himself. So, it, are you trying to say he's utilizing minority status to beat down another minority? That, that doesn't sound right. It doesn't make any sense. And it is a disingenuous argument. Again, I understand trying to protect your friend. Trying to jump to their aid when you feel that they need you. But sometimes it's best to look at the whole situation and get a better understanding of what's going on. And even if in your initial response you just said, okay, yeah, you know what? I, I may have jumped at people and snapped at people the wrong way, and I am sorry for that. That's fine. But doubling down on, hey, he's a minority, let's excuse this, that's stupid as all hell. I, I don't care if somebody goes ahead and says, oh yeah, you know what, he's a black dude, let's give him a pass for going ahead and murdering a whole family. What? Or you, She's a black lady, so we're going to forgive her. For putting this white dude through so much pain and heartache and trouble and slandering his name online. That doesn't make sense. It's logically inconsistent. If somebody's done something wrong, they've done something wrong. And if you don't want to recognize that they've done something wrong because they are your friend, you're not in my book, you're not real friends. I don't, I don't see a friend as somebody who's going to back you when they know you're wrong. I see a friend as somebody who's going to call you out on your crap. And then they're going to help you fix the issue and move on with your life in the proper way. A friend does not sit there and back you when they know you are wrong. Because if a friend backs you when they know you're wrong, they are complicit in your downfall. And that person wants to see your downfall. Hey, maybe they don't think of it that way. But that's how I see it. And uh, I would I would venture to guess that a lot of people see it that way. And moving forward from that, um, <clears throat> there are people, again, bringing up the argument, oh, well, this is going to ruin a lot of people's potential chances to work. Um, this situation wouldn't have come about 
if the completionist hadn't been a lying piece of garbage and saying things that he even if he didn't know they weren't true at the time he found out that they weren't true and then continued to do so even this year that that is horribly wrong that's horribly wrong oh yeah well he donated the six hundred thousand dollars after being called out after trying to bribe people after saying it's because these two people put pressure on him that they need to hurry up and donate it after saying please don't do this i don't want my reputation ruined that doesn't sound like somebody who actually gave any fucks about the thing that he was saying he gave a fuck about and was collecting money for I mean, hey, the, the evidence is out there. If When I post, post this to YouTube, I will put links down to the relevant information so people can go listen for themselves. But I'm sorry. No, you know what? Take that back. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. I can't say I'm sorry that somebody who was doing something so heinous and so disgusting got called out for it, and got put on blast for it. Because it's one thing if you, you know what, I'll give you up to 2022. You said in 2022, that's when you found out about this situation. It was not cool. Okay, I'll give you that. So you were grossly negligent up until 2022. But after that point, After you found out, as you claimed, that the money was not going to the charities that you named, that you used their influence to get those donations with. After you found out the money was not going to those organizations, you still continue to use their name, their relevance, Claiming that you were a donating partner with them to collect money even as late as November of 2023. At that point, you are a lying scumbag piece of shit. There are no two ways about it after that. There are no two ways about it after that. At that point, you knew exactly what you were doing, and it is reprehensible. I do not understand how people are so willing to put their fucking head in the sand for you. And it always ends up being the people that try to present themselves as holier than fucking thou. Oh, I am, I'm, I'm just a genuinely nice and helpful person. Like, I, you can be a genuinely nice and helpful person and make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. There is not a person on the face of this planet who has not made some sort of mistake in their life. Take that back. Babies don't quite make mistakes. They're immune to making mistakes because they're still learning. But outside of that, you can't go around saying, oh, we donate to charity. We're collecting money for charity. All the stuff that you that we collect from you for this particular stream goes to the charity and it doesn't. You can't say those things. You are recorded from your own streams, your own live streams, your own recordings, podcasts that you have been on, plenty of things, plenty of times you had the opportunity to say after you found out. Again, if we're believing you, I still don't. I still 100% my heart of hearts don't believe your bullshit. But if I give that to you, As soon as you found this out last year, you should have acted. Now, 
What he told Carl and Mudahar was that, hey, he didn't know that this was going on. In his video response to the situation, he claims that, well, we were collecting the funds to be able to give a large donation. We were taking the funds in in an unrestricted manner to give a large restricted donation that is specified to this specific cause. Don't, th don't those two things sound like two entirely different stories? Now, I, I could probably go out on a limb and say that most of the things that he said in that video were because a lawyer told him to say it. Because that is probably the cleanest it could look. Is if he said, hey, um, we were collecting these unrestricted donations to put together a restricted larger donation for this specific thing. But if that were the truth of the matter, you would have said that when you were on call with Carl Jobs and Mudahar. Again, you would have said that. Your story changed. Your story changed to fit the situation. And running the donation out very shortly what with, with within a week of posting that video was only to try to absolve yourself of guilt and looking bad. At this point the damage is done. It, it's way too late. The only people who are going to be continually following you are those again who bury their head in the sand on purpose. Or they really just don't give a fuck about the situation. And I can't blame those people. They're uninvolved, so they don't care. But when I look at it, and I'm like, this, this is just horrible. And it gets even worse, because me not knowing this, and being able to smell your bullshit, is fucking amazing. Because you used to have a partner for your videos, a co-host. That co-host left, and then you tried to go out and tell everybody, well, yeah, even though he left, we're still friends. And that, that dude said, no, we are not friends. I'm willing to say we parted on decent terms, but don't lie. You don't have to lie about us being friends. It's all to create the image of, I'm a nice guy. I'm not going to do anything wrong. Again, people make mistakes. All you had to do to rectify this situation was own up to the mistakes. That's the screwed up part. All you had to do to rectify this situation was own up to the mistakes and then make the donation. Yeah, this would have there would have been controversy, but this would have been a splash in a bucket versus what you did. It, it would have been like somebody dropping a piece of a grain of rice into a bucket full of water. Now, it's like somebody decided to drop a Mentos into a bottle of Coke. That's your doing. That's you trying so hard to make yourself look like the victim. That you're actually ruining the people's lives that work for you. And depending on their, their potential level with you working... They may not be able to find a decent job after this. I'm going to guess that the people that were uninvolved, if anything financial, are in the clear. But anything, anybody who had anything to do with anything touching any of that money, oh yeah, you, mm, they are going to be in deep shit. Either that, or they're going to have to take you completely off of their resume. And if they worked for you for years, that's horrible for them. And it, it gets to the it got to the point where the sea of stars dev team said, "Yeah, no, we're not leaving you in our game. We're not leaving you in our game." That's horrible for you. That is wholeheartedly horrible for you. And again, it's a bad look all around. 
no matter how people try to sugarcoat it, no matter how people try to bob and weave from the truth, you fucked up. The instant thing, again, would have been, hey, um, look, I only recently found out about this. I didn't know things were like that, and because I didn't know, I'm taking control of the situation, trying to get the money donated to the potential partners that it's supposed to go to. And if you have any additional charities in mind that you think could benefit from this, please let me know. But it also doesn't help that the people running your administration for open hand also said, hey, we don't know who to donate to. It's kind of a multi-pronged fuck up at that point. But you going and admitting, I wouldn't have even attempted to push this forward if you guys hadn't found out. That's very damning. And that's horrible. That's horrible. Beyond measure. Because there are so many programs for people with dementia that could have benefited from that money over the last few years. And the value of that money has dropped because of you holding on to it. So, yeah. I, I'm sorry. It's a lot of bullshit. And I hope, I hope, hope, hope that Jamie Lee Curtis's people look into this. Because if I remember correctly, she did donate a lump sum of money to your uh, charity. So I hope that her people look into that. I truly do. Because she's one of the few people in Hollywood that actually respects us as a group, gamers as a group. And I could wholeheartedly understand why she wouldn't want to look into this personally. And, yeah, you you probably will pass an audit by the IRS because that money is not sitting in your account anymore. But when you guys went from, or attempting to go from being a private charity to a public charity, you still haven't filed correctly for the last two years. Still haven't filed correctly. Or you didn't meet the requirements to be considered a public charity. And I wonder why that's something that needs to be investigated. But yeah, IRS audit. Oh yeah, they'll probably, yeah, you, you got a clear pass on not having the money. Obviously, you donated it. And don't don't mistake that, me saying that. I am happy the money actually went to a cause. But now you have so many partners that you were supposedly donating to that never got any money. And that, in and of itself, is fraud. Again, you used their reputations to get that money. So um, you have to find a way to make sure that each one of those charities gets some money. Bitch, from your own personal accounts, I really don't care. But you need to find out, find a way to make sure those charities get donations because you use them. You use them. And you used your mother, of all people, to secure those donations. And this is this is going into personal territory. So for me. So if anybody feels off put, I, I do apologize for that. But that would be like me getting famous enough to be able to do a charity event for diabetes, for type one, and using my father who passed away. Just about over 12 years ago at this point. Using his name. His face. Using that to get donations. And then just holding on to the money. I would be so disgusted with myself if I did something like that. You. 
you did so many people wrong. And you deserve every bit of this storm that's coming at you. Every bit of it. I don't give a damn who wants to step in your way to defend you. I don't give too much of a fuck about those people now. It's one thing to defend somebody because you think they made a mistake and they're going to rectify the mistake. It's another thing to defend somebody who you know is defrauding people. Fuck you and everyone that's trying to run to your defense knowing the shit that's out there right now. And that's it for me.